Okay, so I'm gonna make a speedrun of Okay Normal, the video game. I calculate the the start of the speedrun at minus forty one point seventy second because it appears at being the moment when I can finally move my character. During this period, I'm gonna try to explain how I see the speedrun and when I change my split. I'm gonna play almost every time a first person view because uh, it looks better for me. And every time. I didn't hear the song of eating an object. I can leave the first person view to to see if I f is if I miss one or not. I made a speed for each level. My ID to win time is obviously always sprint or sprint every can every time I, w I can and try to jump to jump on corner to to win us a little a little amount of time. There's only one way to finish the game and no any percent, hundred percent stuff like that. So I'm not sure there's gonna there's gonna be another category except the end game. So with some level like this one, I can go on first person. So, but there's no problem because I just need to move forward. When the screen became totally dark, I changed the split. And for this level, when the screen became totally white, I changed the split. I changed the split.
is better for this level to play in with this camera for all the performing session. I found it easier to see where are the periods. Here I didn't know if I can be faster and take the first the first the first time the player came. I always try some time and never manage to do it. For this level, we find the the first enemy, which appeared to be this this, this skull, and it killed me if I came too close to him. But as you can see, it's really easy to to escape from him. It's really slow and and we need to get very close to him to die. For this level, we only want to go to the to the hand, so it's kind of it's kind of an annoying level. But we can see the skull, the same as the last level, but this time they're pretty nice with us. when the screen is dark. For this level we just have to wait. So I move. Another level where we don't have anything to do except climbing, climbing, and again, climbing, climbing, climbing. And again for this level we want to wait until the screen goes to die dark to change the split that go to the to another level.
Now we are in the first really big level. We can lose time if we don't know where to go. Okay. But the path is is really easy. To take the last key, we have to jump. The character cannot climb by, by himself. And again, we, g we go to the end of the level. And now we go to the maze, uh, one of the biggest level, and a level we can easily lose a lot of time. But to never forget my path, I wrote it on my split, as you can see. Left, wa left one, right one, left two, right two, stuff like that. There is a second bad guy. So as you can see, I take the second path to the left, and now I'm going to take the second path to the right. I don't know if the the way I did this level is faster, but is so the first I discovered. So now we have that, uh, I considered it as, as a split by himself. Mm. 
but uh, there's no way to, to win time on this one because it's just uh, like a, a cutscene And now there's this level where you don't have any much to do except press forward for a long amount of time. I consider it as the, this one as the final level. Even we don't have anything to do except to un wait until the the credit appear. when the scream became totally dark. It's the end of the speedrun. Right now. It was a speedrun of OK Normal. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry for my English. I work on it to become better. And that's it. Goodbye.